Ah, blessings everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's a great day to be alive. What are skeletons yapping on about today? I don't know. But you saw the title and let me get into it with more detail. So the way that I kind of see social media in general is kind of in a, I guess, I don't know how I'd call it a business kind of way, but if you've seen my previous videos, it's basically like likes and engagement, stuff like that. Those are just metrics of how successful someone's page does. And this is dependent on a few factors such as your likability, how well you follow trends, and just a whole bunch of different stuff, right? I'm never gonna get into that in this video. But one thing that I just feel like, I guess could be improved, especially as of recent in the few past, like I'd say three years, and probably since I guess TikTok came about, is just the ability to be unique. And I'm not saying this as if I'm like some unique like creator. I'm just I just made these videos just to help people out. Um and by no means, you know, like I don't really care about that stuff. But or at least I'm not on this channel, but yo a dog. Hey, come here man. Yo let's go man. Man's best friend. Alright. So since the I guess introduction of TikTok came about I guess people started to really realize this and obviously short form content came about as more mainstream and popular and as a result also trends emerged. You've had people doing the same trends, you have people doing the same dance moves, the same sounds, the same titles, the same everything's the same basically and what seems to work better is who can do that the best, who can do that specific trend the best or if it's not the best then Obviously, it gauges out different other metrics, such as, for example, how well the person looks or how well the quality of the video is in terms of what camera they're using. But I've kind of noticed a similar kind of thing is it's kind of here on YouTube. Now, I don't know if this is because I've just been watching, I guess, similar videos that have been like that or if it's just more than a coincidence because it's been happening for a while now. Um, and when I used to use YouTube, it wasn't exactly like this. So it's a pretty cool bio and wow. But one thing I've noticed now is a lot of the kind of content that's on here is a lot of the same titles and a lot of the same topics being covered in the same space in time. And people, obviously it gives people a chance to blow up on that kind of side because again, if that specific topic is trendy in a certain time period, why would you not want to utilize that and use it to grow? And in some cases, it still helps and or at least it still helps people and Dabby. I guess raises awareness about certain topics. But if it, it kind of feels like at the same time, because of that reason, you're losing a lot of people kind of coming up with their own topics, their own ideas, or at least stuff that's different. And that's kind of a thing where I'm trying to kind of bridge that gap because I want people to kind of fulfill their, I guess, most ideal version of themselves to help themselves become more self-aware. Just a whole host of things related to that kind of stuff. But obviously there will be some topics that may be trendy and I may decide to say, you know what, maybe I should make a video on this because it's getting a lot of traction and who knows, it could people, it could help people. But that's not the kind of route I want to take at the moment. So. That's like one of the reasons I'd say that this channel itself would not exactly do the best in terms of the metrics. However, that's not my main priority here. And yeah, I could be missing out on a bunch of views and a bunch of, I guess, like I, could, like I said before, metrics that determine whether or not my channel is quote unquote successful from a number standpoint. But it feels like when I'm covering more of the topics that are not really spoken about and I think need more awareness, as well as also the ability to, again, help people out in certain situations. Um, that's the kind of route that kind of appeals to me the most. Um, and I don't know if it's the integrity in me or if it's just me kind of trying to deliver as much value as possible, but it feels, it feels good. Again, at the same time, it's like, am I really doing the, the best that this channel can really have? Should I be talking about, like for example, I was, I, I've seen a bunch of channels recently talk about how they're not built for a 9 to 5. And a lot of times they're talking about the exact same things, which 
shows that everyone is kind of thinking the same and I don't really like that too much because we're all supposed to th kind of think on our own terms rather than just follow what someone else is saying and then agreeing with them and then the whole notion of that specific topic is only one opinion. I don't think that's completely right because it doesn't challenge our brains to to think as much. It's more just like conditioning our brains to sort of consume the content and just leave it as that. And I do think there'll be a point in time where, in the future at least, where it, that stuff is just going to become more and more kind of, I guess, robot-like. The, the, the human themselves, for the most part, especially in the West, it's going to become a lot more robotic. I mean, you can see it now. A lot of people are kind of just following what's socially acceptable. And that's why, like, even you have seen sometimes there's, like, a breakout of uniqueness where some people are trying to stand out from the crowd because, again, there's still that crowd there, right? Whereas, like, everyone is kind of doing the same thing. And I get it, you want to stick out because it's different and it gets more attention, but... Man, damn, I'm green, I have... Is it really authentic or are you doing it for, again, the approval of others? And a lot of this stuff may not make sense now, but I think in a few years, it probably would be. But by that point, will this video even um, gain traction? Probably not. Maybe then it will, but who knows? I'm not no, you know, future teller. Oh, a cat. One thing I, I used to love doing on this game is fish. Fishing on this is just, wow. I don't know why, this feels really cool. And I've actually never ever been fishing before. Um, so maybe I'll make a um, video on that one day. An actual IRL thing. Then again, I also do like peace and quiet sometimes, so maybe not. Let me see how it goes. But pretty much in summary, a lot of people are carbon copies of each other just because of the desire to be liked. People are uncomfortable being alone and in their own thoughts or whatever. Because again, like I said before, in, in a lot of different videos, it takes a lot of courage to do that. And again, it's like when you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you kind of thing. Those kind of vibes. It's, it's something that takes probably a lot of strength, it, especially in today's age, especially when you've got like a an electronic device next to you where you can just tap out at any given point in time. It takes more willpower than ever to kind of do things differently. But yeah. Be mindful of the stuff that you're watching because you don't know how much of it is, is entering your head and influencing your thoughts. And yeah, be you, man. That doesn't have to mean that you have to, you know, follow all the metrics to... Unless you want to do it as a career, then I can understand, obviously. You're going to want to go for the most bang for your buck when you're making videos, right? But again, it all depends on what your specific needs are and desires. But... I would personally just say just do what completely feels right on the inside because at the end of the day when you're in bed sleeping at night nobody can take that away from you but you only you can determine how satisfied you're going to be during the end of the day but yeah apart from that um in other news uh you guys voted for yes on the nintendo wii gameplay uh i actually did manage to find it the other day so i thought i lost it turns out it was just um hidden away so I think I need to get a game capture card or something like that. I could use a Wii emulator on my PC, but I cannot be bothered for that, to be honest. This is too technical and I just I just want to play. Um, so I might just get a game capture card thingy, HDMI, and then... Um, yeah, maybe we'll do a live stream. Maybe. Well, a lot of different options you can do, you know? So yeah. Anyway, on that note, appreciate you guys for watching. And even taking the time to... To even just make it this far in the video you know you've got your attention span is good but at least i'd like to assume so anyway take it easy and uh have a blessed rest of your day week evening month day year life whatever see ya